All right, so after you cut strings out of your racket, second step is to mount your racket. I, and most people will tell you, always mount butt cap up. So you want the logo up. If it's a W for Wilson, be up. You know, Babylon symbol up. Prince to be up. Uh, that's just a good habit to get into. John X, obviously. That's John X. Hope you can see that. If you don't know which way is up, typically, not every racket, but typically, I could say John X if that's up. Uh, reasons. I have people ask me this. Reasons for mounting butt cap up. And it's not necessarily butt cap up. If you want to mount butt cap down, do it butt cap down. Do it like that every time. But you want to do it so you're consistent. So that you string every racket the same. That way, every time I string a racket, uh, I always start the same side. Always finish the same side. Uh, always have the knot on the same side. Uh, knots down here, finish on the same. You know, everything is always the same. Uh, if you get a racket like some of the, uh, what is the uh, Pure Arrows, some of the older ones, where you had to, st you, a lot of rackets will be uh, designated, you know, start here, starting not here. And you could only string it one way because the strings had to lay in the grommets a certain way. So if you always mount the racket exactly the same every time, and typically if it's butt cap up, that start, if it's a, and I've known some Prince rackets that have done the same thing, that start will always be over here, typically. Say 99.999% of the time. There will be your oddball racket out there that will start over here. But 99% of the time, it's going to start over here. Uh, so if you always start at butt cap up, you always start your racket, to, or mount start butt cap up, start the racket the same way, that starting spot will always be in the same spot, and you don't ever have the whole crap of Strung that one wrong because I had it upside down. Uh, I will tell you if I get one in and they have a butt cap that's in the wrong way, if I can, I will flip it around. But most times, it's very rare that that ever happens. Okay, so then when you mount the racket, you want the racket as centered as possible on your uh, stringing deck. So me, I do the sides. And the sides, and you'll notice that's still loose. I do the sides to sides, and you just want them to touch. You don't want pressure. And I kind of gauge where it's at by how much distance is here, how much is here. And to adjust that, I'll loosen this one and tighten that one. Okay, so loosening over here, tightening over here, and that's making the racket. I hope you can see it. Oh, oh what's wrong with me? But that's actually pretty centered. But where I had the racket was down here. And I hope you can see it. I'll loosen this one and tighten that one. Can you see the racket slide? So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to slide the racket back and forth with that. So anyway, when I get it fairly well centered, I just want them, again, to touch. Pull these in. You don't want them to pull the frame. You just want them to touch. And maybe just a little. And when I say a little, I hope you can see the knob here. So that's touching. That's all I did. Okay, that is as tight as I'm going to make that. Touch and that. Okay, and same thing here. Touch and that. And that's it. I'm not going to crank down on it. I'm not one of those guys you see having you, unless if you ever wonder why there was a wrench hole here. And so if people over tighten their racket, you can use a wrench and crank that off and get your racket off. So anyway, that's video number two. That's just mounting the racket. All you need to know about mountain dragon.